Hey everyone, I chose to do the jQuery uh, plugin project and um, I learned a lot about jQuery plugins from doing several tutorials uh, which I'll be showing you guys and I'm uh, gonna show y'all basically how I made them. The first jQuery plugin that we're gonna be looking at came from a tutorial on the website Build Internet and it's a really cool script and it's it's basic so that you can customize the effect which is a drop down navigation um, effect using the action method um, obviously chapter 5 with regards to the colors and the images that drops under the link um, you can customize it and you can also like make it vertical so it's actually a really cool thing that I don't know I'd like to try on a web page. Okay, so before we begin looking at the script and uh, I'll ex explaining that, I'm gonna show you the proper structure that you have to use. Um, it explains this in the tor tutorial. You have to start by making a folder. Um, they recommend you name it animate menu. So that's what I did. And um, you also need to make in Notepad a HTML, a CSS, a JavaScript file, and a folder named JS, which the EZIN plugin is going to be loaded into. The images folder is um, obviously where you're going to keep the images and if you want to customize it that's um, all you have to do is swap out what's in there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what the final product looks like um, so this is what it looks like if you just use the default images that come with the tutorial here I'm gonna show you the completed HTML uh, text file real quickly and as you can see between the head tags are links to the files we created uh, the CSS, the JavaScript, and um, the JS folder um, as we move down obviously the links to your website and um, that's of course customizable as are the colors. Next I'll show you what the CSS file looks like it's very basic and it can be customized easily from font to color to spacing and positioning tweaks. And now for the one you've all been waiting for, the jQuery file. Um, the jQuery uses a rollover function. Um, how it works is it modifies the CSS elements gr uh, gradually. Um, to create the animation, uh, the duration that you see refers to the time of the effect in milliseconds, which is 600. Um, although you can also like switch that out with like slow or fast or something like that. Um, the jQuery it actually it uses the bounce UI effect. Um, if you want to read more on that, uh, page 293 in jQuery in action has a chart. And also, the, um, there's other UI effects uh, which can be used instead. Alright everybody, I am going to conclude part one by showing you a version that I made myself. Um, I didn't even add subtext, but of course I could add whatever. It was a simulation of a link bar for an aquarium. And I just wanted to show how customizable this script really is.